Now, to be fair to Mr. No Fugazi, I haven't really heard him talk about the topic of black women, but I have seen him bring black women on the show and make fun of them for being single moms or even being overweight and possibly belonging to the animal planet. But a lot of the black women are really on his ass because Mr. No Fugazi was saying don't deal with single moms. And then we find out he's clapping BBL cheeks. Booty clapping sounds. So my future ex-wife, Courtney Michelle, actually did a video on this called Fugazi's Down Bad When Brother Won't Smoke. Let's listen to what she has to say. You guys, I have been keeping up with this David Cooley, no Fugazi podcast drama. Mm -hmm. And it has been quite interesting, but it's been something that I've always known with being, you know, um, around the space, which is the red pill, manosphere, black manosphere, all of that male content. Damn, she looking good. I just want to say, looking good, boo. When I get my check, don't even worry about nothing. And yes, you can have five kids. I'll still send for you. Things that focus on relationships. I have always known that the, the rhetoric of I'll never date a baby mama or I will never be with a baby mama, that is a lie. Okay, it's an absolute lie. Your favorite content creators, their wives, girlfriends have children with other um, men. They look for and don't mind dating um, baby mama. So I don't understand the rhetoric that continuously and perpetuates on this on this particular platform okay. because it's been proven to be false. Mm. And one, which is Mr. Cooley, has been um, exposed as being one of those red pillars that goes on different platforms and monetize by saying the most degrading things to women, in particular Black women, and specifically saying that he um, thinks that Black, not Black women, but you can read between the lines, that uh, baby mamas are just for recreational usage. So I, I do want to give him credit. Like, I've never heard him say black women like Myron and Donovan Sharp, but you know, it, it, it leaves a lot to be desired as to who we could be referring to, especially when you look at that cringe ass family channel he has with his baby mama who happened to be white. Yeah, it's kind of, you know, in between the lines, but he hasn't said it. So I won't put that on him. But he is with currently, she's pregnant. They have a, a, a baby. He's with a woman that has two other kids and, you know, white kids, David, you are with a woman that has two white kids as a black man. Nothing is wrong with that. But imagine when you're talking about don't date single moms, you're dating a single mom of another race with kids from another race. Do you know how bad that makes you look as a hypocrite to your own message? But it's okay. Let's get back to the lies. She, 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 she cooking you too, bro. It's bad over here. It's bad. Mm -hmm. You know, whether those two kids is, is by one man or two men, we don't know. Whether the, the men know that um, they might not even be the father. Does she even know who the father mm. is? Again, we don't know. We are just going off... Um, the strength of a coolie that has been known to be an absolute fake fraud liar. Mm. I am absolutely happy that he is getting exposed. Mm. And I hope more people get exposed for saying one thing on the internet and living a whole complete entire lie. Can't expose me. I've been tricking for years and don't plan on stopping. Now, you know, with single moms, y'all know typically where I stand on that. But I, I, I'll tell you right now, if they look good enough and they thick enough, is it possible to get back into simple with that? With me, yes, it's possible. Is it likely? I don't know. But is it possible? Yes, I am a simp. Haven't happened in a, a long time, though, but it's possible. One thing on the Internet and live in a whole complete entire life. And this baby mama thing is interesting, but I will say this. There was signs about this David Cooley that should have rung some, some bells in some people's heads that this man is fake, this man lies, and this man's own family don't even like him. 
Let's stop there. Again, Mr. Let Go, as I talked about it before, they had a little issue with No Fool Gazy. They somehow squashed that issue and did a podcast together. Mr. Let Go and I think uh, one of his homeboys or something like that, right? His homeboy named Jeremy um, is actually on the set. Now, Courtney plays a clip, and you can take her full video out, of basically No Fool Gazy podcast. His own brother is about to whip his ass on camera. And he's so afraid of his brother because he's disrespecting his brother. He runs, okay? So that's the brother I don't want no smoke with. Uh, Mr. No Fool Gazy, now I ain't really worried about you. Your brother though, yeah, I don't, bro, whoever you are, bro, listen, I ain't got no problem with your family, okay? Hotep, Hotep, brother. Much peace and love to you, brother, okay? Now let me get back to this. You're gonna see this clip of No Fool Gazy talking crazy to his own brother. Now, the other guy was just sitting next to him is Mr. Lego's friend. Now, watch this, and we're gonna come back. Think about it, right? We only have okay. words. Yo, Cliff, chill. Cliff, what? chill, chill. Nah, chill, chill. I don't care what you're talking about, right. bro. Chill. See, he said, if his brother was about to fight my brother, I don't care what you're talking about. Chill, chill, chill. Okay, cool. Yeah, I know you big bro, but chill, bro. dog. You my brother, chill. In the back, chill, bro, really. You, see, really, you don't even know what's going on. It's way above you. Way wow. above you right now, bro. Way That's ab- disrespectful, now. bro. It, so, it's way above you. He tried to call I, his own brother dumb. Bro, and that's and that's why his brother got mad. Yeah. If you, his brother was just disagreeing with what he was saying, mm-hmm. which, which prompted him to say, bro, you don't know what you're talking about, bro. bro it's, it's way above you. It's way above you. Yeah. That set his brother off. How was his brother finna beat me and my brother up? Now, watch when his brother walked toward the camera. It's a quick shot, but he took it off me so fast that I'm still sitting there chilling. He didn't, he's not, how he gonna beat my brother? He, he finna beat my brother up, but he walking yeah. towards you finna fight you. Let's see. Yeah. Let's see now. I, bro, I don't care about none of that. Let, let, let this rock, bro. Let, chill, chill. You in the back, chill. Throw the camera on me. We gonna end it right here. We gonna end it right here. So at the end of the day right now, we about to end the podcast because... Is whatever it is. <laughs> that nigga <is> suck. So- <laughs> look, somebody said I was quiet. Yeah, because he ain't talking to me. He ain't talking to him. Why he gonna say something? No, I, 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 I need to help him. him. Yeah, his brother about to beat his ass. I ain't gonna say nothing to me. I want to look at the show. I'm, look, my arm never moved, bro. I'm not sweating nothing in here. Check me out. So look. Throw the camera on me real quick. We gonna end it right now. So at the end of the day, I get what you're talking about. I get what you're talking about. I get what you're talking about. What's way above me, bro? What's way above me? Chill, dog. Chill, chill, dog. Chill, chill, chill. Where are you going, Cootie? Cootie Cat? Where you going? Now, as you could have saw from that, his brother comes up to him directly and says, what you mean it's above me? Something like that. Who you talking to? Okay. Now, the other guy is sitting next to over there by Mr. Cooley, he's not worried because the guy is worried about him. Mr. Fugazi got up and ran, okay? Now, watch how Mr. Fugazi comes on and lies about it the next day. Okay, now y'all see me in the back and I'm like, yo, Cliff is heft, that's my bro. I'm like, yo, chill. I don't care what you are talking about, bro, chill. Because I see him back there uh, screaming at germ looked as well. And then seconds after that, I'm like, all right, what the freak is going on? He bought the smack dude in the back. So I'm telling my bro to chill. Literally saving Jeremy's brother's life. Now, this was all shout out to Courtney and Mr. Let Go's video. You can check their video out. So he's trying to say, oh, my brother was about to fight uh, some other people's brother. So he wasn't even worried about me. And it's like, bro, like, are you serious? We saw your brother come towards you. You're acting like, your brother's about to fight somebody else, and you think that everybody is stupid. And the thing is, the, the, the Fugazi guy, he can articulate certain things and certain aspects of maybe when it comes to the red pill, maybe because he's heard it before and stuff like that. So he is articulate, and he can basically convey messages very well. Um, but he's not a bright guy. Putting things all together in like one synthesis of how things really truly work He has a hard time doing that and he thinks that everybody is dumb and he feels like he has some kind of intellectual advantage, which clearly he does not. Because if he had an intellectual advantage, he would know eventually that his couple's channel with his white wife or white girlfriend is in a complete contradiction 
to the No Fool Gazy podcast and somehow people would study the information on both of those things and, and it will make sure that those things don't add up. All right. Now, let me just say something about myself. I have another complete platform called uh, Ken Gonda, right? But that's based on of the pro-black community or something like that. And I deal with most of my stuff with African topics and the pro-black community on there, which is different from what I do on my main channel here. But obviously there's not much contradiction to how I feel overall about being a pro-black. It's the same. However, that's not the case for the Mr. No Fugazi. Now, Courtney also is going to prove that you yourself, Mr. No Fugazi, you steal content from other people and take their talking points. Listen, I want to make a public service announcement for all you racists and psychopaths. If you're a person who is saying that you exclusively date only outside of your race, you're a psychopath and a racist and you probably hate yourself. Okay, so if you're a white person, you only date black people or you only date Chinese people, you're a psychopath and you hate yourself. If you're a black person, you only date outside of your race, you're probably a psychopath and you hate yourself. Any person that... that only dates outside their race, they have a problem. They have a problem with self-hate and they're probably a little racist against their own race. So yeah, that's, don't be like one of those type of guys that only date outside your race. Uh, black, so he's 12% of the population, 60% of the country is white, the majority. So the likelihood that a black person would date out of their race is fairly high, just statistically speaking. That doesn't mean that the white woman would be dating out of her race at the same rate. The thing is, White people are 60% of the population. And I think black people are like 15, 20% of the population. So it's more probable for someone to date out their race anyway, because there's more white people. So even with people coming over from other countries, the probability is higher um, of them to date a white person anyway, just because there's more white people. There's more white chicks. Um, stop being racist. Like, that's the thing. No. That is the saint in the center who was coming to his defense, giving some statistics about 60% white, something black, and stating his own opinion. No Fugazi, whether those statistics are 100% correct, it doesn't matter. You took exactly verbatim what the saint in center said as if it was your own material basically committing plagiarism on somebody that you consider as a friend. Because when I heard the saint in the center uh, come to your defense, I saw the comment section, you know, some of his people were disagreeing with him, but he's trying to stand up for you in a good way, the best way he can. Really, he don't really have too much he can stand on you with because of how you did what you did. But I can see he's trying to be a good friend the best way he can. He's like, all right, listen, man, my guy is in a situation. Let me do the best I can to help him out. Okay? That's what I feel he's trying to do. He's trying to be loyal to you. How do you repay that man? You go and completely take all of his talking points and doctor it up as your own, as if you had those thoughts, which you didn't. It's his thoughts. He said it, he originated those ideas, and you basically took that as your own. That's a great friend. Like, hey, it, the, the more you can hang around to a full, hold on, the more he hangs around you, the more you're gonna take from him. He's gonna call you out on that too eventually if you keep doing it for that long. But that's what you do. You steal from the saint in the center, you steal from Myron, you steal from Donovan Sharp, which is, I mean, he's the worst guy you can steal from because I heard you use the term womanese. And um, the, the the only thing that you're doing is you're doing this to get money um, because, you know, hey, you're a guy. Uh, you sound you sound like you know what you're talking about. You are definitely believable. So, hey, this is a good, easy way for you to do a low production setup um, and get some money and uh, basically, you know, hey, go out there and do what you got to do, right? But then here's where she's going to deal with you the most. So when I see a single mom, right, I see a woman that made all the wrong choices and only prioritized how she feels. She's selfish. Will you ever date a, a single mom? What do you say? Will what you he ever? Said? The girl said, will you ever date a single mom? What he say? Listen, what to what he, listen to what he about to say. 
They literally says, because they don't know he's in a relationship with a white single mom. Watch this. I mean, single moms need love too. They can, they can, well, they can get a little, a they, 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 they can get a little, they can get a little, uh, a little recreational use only sometimes. So, a mistake that you made, bro, was getting into it with Mr. Let Go. Again, why you brought up, it wasn't really you, it was your, uh, it was your Haitian friend. Uh, shout out to the brother, I don't have no problem with him. He brought out, uh, the fact that, you know, you pushed up on Mr. Let Go at the tonight's conversation. Well, the mistake that you made was you wanted to try to blame, you know, this whole thing on somebody else, which is the tonight's conversation, taking clips and then editing those clips. And they're the reason why you have all this smoke on you right now. And then you wanted to bring Mr. Let Go in it somehow. And even though Mr. Let Go has nothing to do with this, and basically try to say how you pulled up on Mr. Let Go, trying to deflect. But what Mr. Let Go did is basically go back and fry you because he knows you, he's met you before, he has conversations before, he's seen you contradicting yourself before. So we heard the ladies ask you, would you date a single mom? And you said, yes, recreational or things like that. You had the perfect opportunity to say, hey, I've been in a relationship with the woman that's a single mom, but she's the exception to the rule. No, the exception to the rule commentary came out once she got busted and found out. So that's why you needed all that time to think about lies you're going to say. So now you and her are both exception to the rule, which I don't think that you're excelling anything but lying. Okay. So now you're out there down bad with that. So on your show, you're hating on single moms and telling somebody else that the only thing that you would do is clap single mom's cheeks when you had the complete opportunity right then and there to say, you know what, but I am in a relationship with a single mom. But there is a reason why you said that. You didn't want to say that because those women would have a good response. And the good response is, well, why are you coming at us for being a single moms when you're with one? Then you would have probably had to say, if you were stupid, uh, well, she's the exception to the rule. And then what they would have to say is, well, how do you know that I'm not the exception to the rule? And not only that, you couldn't say that live in a debate because your chat is there, your supporters were there. And if you were to say it like that, then they would know that you're a fraud and you're a liar. So you can't dress it up like that, right? Because you you would be able to look bad. It's different when you're telling somebody that comes on to your platform, hey, when I met my girl, she had a kid and I had a kid, which isn't true. You had a kid, she had two kids, and then she was white. So nobody would go and look at that TikTok and you've never really promoted it on your page. So no one would know that, all right? But those women would have ate your ass alive, no ditty, if you would have made the mistake and told the truth when you clearly had a path to do so. So the whole idea is that Courtney and Mr. Let Go have proven one thing. You are completely disingenuous. Very much so, okay? A disingenuous guy. So disingenuous and disrespectful. So you even do it to your own family members who are even older than you. It also shows me that you have no respect. You're a person that believes that you're better than everyone. And let me just tell you something, bro. You're making a lot of money on YouTube, okay? But you have to make money on YouTube as a liar. If you are really such a talented individual like myself, right? You would be able to be yourself completely and still do very well. Like me, I'm O'Shea Duke Jackson. I'm, I'm a trick. I've been tricking for a long time. I don't really care. And I've been in the business almost a decade with like four channels um, and over three or 400 million views in my lifetime by being myself. You might not like it, but I never had to pretend to be something that I'm not. You had to pretend to be something that you're really not to get to which, where you are, which is you're a master manipulator. But it's okay, though. These receipts that came out today, bro, got you looking bad. But guys, thank you so much. Check out Courtney's full video on the topic. Um, go show her some love. We're out.